to itself this time last week. It was it's been climbing over the last few weeks. It came in at number 25, then went to number two, and it is this week's number one. It will be this man's second UK number one. There's a new album called Back From The Edge. And let's hear from the man himself. The official chart with Greg James. James Arthur, welcome to the official chart. Thank you. How does it feel for you to be on the official chart and about to be announced as the number one artist? I don't really know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. I don't know how to really compute it at the moment. It's overwhelming. It's just blown my mind. Well, every time we've been playing your songs on Radio 1 and playing it on the official chart, the fans have been going mad on yeah. Twitter. The following is huge and the support for you has been huge. Yeah. Because Elephant in the Room, it's been a tricky few years for you, hasn't it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Quite rightly, I think most people probably wrote me off. I, I didn't give myself much chance, to be honest. I thought I might scrape the top 40 or something if I'm lucky after a few weeks. But to be in this position right now is absolutely mental. If we cast our minds back two or three years ago, yeah, there was quite a lot of tabloid stuff about you. Yeah, There were a lot of, I'd say, scandals and in inverted commas. Uh -huh. A lot of things that you said that people were you know annoyed at upset about yeah and then it led to psycho dropping you yeah yeah and so from there how did you get back to where you are today which is by the way huge congratulations Thank to the number you. one single because obviously people are connecting to this song but yeah. how how difficult has the last few years been for you and, and what are your thoughts on your behavior at that time well um at the time i didn't really i don't really know i wasn't really aware of the the repercussions and and um how devastating like, my actions would be, and I feel like I've been on a bit of a prison sentence for the last two years, like, thinking my career is well and truly dead and buried, it's over, and no nobody thinks I'm going to come back, so no matter what I do, I'm done. So the only thing I could really do uh, to have any chance was just clean my act up and sort of live more positively, more cleanly, and stop dealing with the issues that I had in the way that I was dealing with them and face my adversities head on and do what I could to give myself any kind of a chance. And with the psycho thing, like about a year ago when I was like right in the midst of trying to sort myself out, I managed to sit down with Simon and he was like, you know, you've got to just write a, a hit song basically, like you've got to outdo your competition. And, you know, I thought maybe if I could prove that I can do that and compete with the likes of Ed Sheeran and those types of guys, then he might come back on board and what a story that would be. I don't know, man. It's been a whirlwind. And then sitting at the top of the official charts today, this is quite a turnaround, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very surreal. So number one today, we're yeah. about to play Say What Let Go. It's yeah. the UK's number one. Yeah. Where do you go from here? <laughs> I have no idea. I have absolutely, I'm trying to take it one day at a time, otherwise I'll have an anxiety attack, I think. Do you think you've still got people to win over with stuff? Of course, I haven't really scraped the surface in terms of my apologies to certain people. Because I really did behave like a... I, I probably can't really say the word on, on air, but I, I didn't behave like a, a good person. Um, and I'm sure there's still people that are probably thinking, why should we listen to him or why, why should we give him a chance? So, James Arthur, congratulations to you. Say Won't Let Go is Thank the UK's you. number one. This is the UK's official number 